Oh, the Emperor. Your Majesty. Uh, <gasps> Father. Uh, but why? What happened? Sh Shadar. Shadar? Yes. He was here. He came to... to... demand our unconditional surrender. Huh? But, but let it be known, I defied him. I would not bow to that wretch. No, don't. Don't try to speak. Gascon. Huh? My son. My... Beloved son. Huh? You really thought I couldn't tell. You knew? Your appearance may have changed. But I know my own flesh and blood. What the future holds is a mystery to all men. But I know... I know that together... You and Marcus and can I believe in you, protect the Empire, now and in the future. Father! No! Father! Please! Father! I got to meet you again, and now this. I just wanted... I just wanted to make you proud. And now... This has to happen! Damn it! Explain. No! Wow. I, I, jeez, I never thought I'd see Swain be like that. Wow. I wonder what's taking Swain so long. Just can't believe that he's Gaskin, the heir to all of Hamlin. My mind's boggled beyond all belief, Mun. I guess he didn't want us to know, huh? I suppose so. Won't be the same now we know that he's a prince. Well, I'm going to act like I don't know. Me too. Unless Swain wants to talk about it, I'm not going to say a word. Hmm. Oh, you don't need to worry about me, Mun. I'll have forgotten all about this in a bit. Couldn't remember if I if I want to. Me, 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 me. Can I like talk, please? There's one thing I'm good at. It's forgetting. Sorry to keep you waiting. Swain. Suppose it's time to go, but I need to say goodbye to Mac Marcuson first. All right. That's fine, man. We'll let you say goodbye. It's today that you're leaving, isn't it? Yes, your highness. Thank you for everything. No, no, I should be thanking you. Because of you, I was able to become my father's heir, and soon I'll formally inherit his ti title. Yeah, I bet the people of Hamlin are glad about that and all. I mean to give them a reason to be. I want them to know that they have nothing to fear from Shadar. I refuse to let him defeat us. I want Gaskin to be able to come back to Hamlin whenever he likes, after all. I must keep the Empire safe until he does so. You'll make a fine Emperor, Marcuson. Gaskin would be proud of you. I hope so. He always believed in me. I shall never stop believing that he will come back. Okay, lock it, Ollie boy. It's all a glow, man. You don't think. It must be. Marcuson's belief in his brother must be real strong. I'm sorry, I... Your Highness, there's someone who needs your help. Someone who needs some of the strength that's in your heart. My heart? Whoever are you talking about? Well, you, you, your highness. In the future, I mean. In our, in our time, a piece of your heart is missing. 
My future self? That's right, and we need you to share some of your belief with him, to help him get back to normal. My belief? Very well, I can hardly refuse my own future self a piece of my heart. Man! Little Markison helping Big Markison, this is pretty pro. I will gladly share my heart. Come, take it. I could be like working for Shadar, just letting you know, but okay. <clears throat> so now we have belief. Noble certainty of unshakable faith. Thank you very much, your highness. There's no need to thank me. Now please, give that belief to my future self. But before you go... Swain? Yes? When you return to your time, please give my regards to my future brother. I'll be sure to do that, your highness. Righto, back to the future it is! You know which spell you want, don't you, Ollie boy? Reach time, eh? Roger. Let's go, everybody, to the future. Alright, so, uh, Breach Heart. I don't even know where that is. Breach Heart, or Breach Time, I'm sorry. It can only be used once in a lifetime, so th this is the only time we can use the spell. Well, if we accidentally left someone here, that'd be great. Okay, all together. Today, Today tomorrow, yesterday, send us safely on our way! way. <gasps> Oliver's gone. They've all gone. Did we make it? Huh? Aren't we still in the same place? No way, Mum, that's impossible. I know when a spell works, and that spell worked right and proper. We're back in our time, no doubt about it. Yeah, this place is different somehow. Swain, we made it back and that's all that matters. Now isn't there someone we should be helping? Of course, come on Oliver, let's find Markison. Sure thing, let's go give him his belief back. No problem. Let's go ahead and go talk to Markison then. That really sucks that he was left... He was left this entire empire when he was just like a little kid. I feel really bad for him. Oh, you're not in your suit anymore. What's up, Markison? Holy shit, you're like really tall compared to Oliver. Get out of here! Go! Be gone, I say! Poor lad, still broken hard, that's for definite. Shadow of his former self, he is. He needs a dose of belief, and he needs it snappy. Come on, man, it's what his dad would have wanted. Cease your mending, mending, Shadow Fairy. My father died 15 years ago. Do not claim to know his will. So all that carry-on was 15 years ago, was it? And this poor lad's been on his own ever since. It is tragic. Oh, uh, your highness, we brought you something. A gift. A gift. <laughs> I don't know why that sounded really weird. It's from 15 years ago. We got it from, well, we got it from you. Anyway, if it's okay, we'd like you to have it back. What did you say? What is the meaning of this? Here, just take it before you start bitching. Take your belief. What is this? This glow? What's happening? What is this warmth that spreads within my breast? You're not a chick, but okay. What have I been doing? All this time I have been so misguided. It was Shadar, your highness. He took the belief from your heart. My heart? My belief? Wait! I feel I believe in people once more. I want to believe in people. It has been so long since I felt this way. Does this mean... Does this mean that you saved me? Was it you who gave me back the capacity to believe? 
It was, your highness. I did promise, didn't I? I promised I'd come and help you if you were in trouble. Wherever you were, no matter how far away. Wherever I... I see. <laughs> now I see. You came back. I always knew that you would. Thank you. There's really no need to thank me, your highness. Your highness, we need your help. We want you to help us to... To defeat Shadar! What did you say? You mean to face Shadar? That is impossibly reckless. I'm a great sage, and yet Shadar was able to enter my heart and take a piece of it without imp impuny. Or, yeah, God, I, I can never say that word, right? And yet I was saved, just as I was promised. Very well, I shall assist you. Together we, shall, we will defeat the Dark Jinn. Shadar's days are numbered. They sure are. Thank you so much, your highness. I knew you wouldn't let us down. <laughs> and that is why you're the Emperor, Marcuson. Well, well. What are we to make of this? It seems the Savior managed to acquire Mornstar after all, and somehow managed to travel back to the present. I would have thought that far beyond his meager power. Indeed. The power to breach time can be used but once in a mortal's life, can it not? It would seem that he has benefited from yet more assistance. And that his benefactor possesses formidable powers. Powers on a par with our own. This supposed helper of his is no mere dabbler in the magical arts. Such powers recall those of that ancient king without whom our magic ones could not exist. Yes, I speak of my... But that would be a truly terrifying proposition, if one such as he were to... Fear not. Should the need arise, I shall take action myself. Your radiance, you mean to say... <laughs> I do. He cannot hope to defeat me. And I will tell you. And we never learned why. It just cut. It just cut. And we never learned. Man, I wanted to find out more. Alright, everyone, listen. In order to defeat Shadar, we must first break down his defenses. Now, the Dark Jinn is protected by a magical barrier known as the, Br the Black Briar. Okay. The Black Briar? Yes. It is a cloying magical barrier which no spell can permeate. Can we just say penetrate? <laughs> Neither Rashad nor Alicia were able to overcome the Black Briar. That is why Shadar was able to defeat them. And with the other great sages incapacitated, he was able to delve deep into my own heart and steal a piece of it. But now, Marcuson, oops, I mean your majesty. Come along now, Esther. I once fought alongside you as a child. There's no need for you to use my royal title. The same goes for all of you. Oh, excuse me. Sure, your majesty. Uh... Huh, don't worry, Oliver. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Now, I would dearly love to accompany you, accompany you on your journey. One where we grow strong together. Strong enough to defeat Shadar. But protecting the Empire is to be my first priority. There's also the small matter of recite or recidifying the many mistakes I made whilst brokenhearted. I comfort myself with the knowledge that you now possess a wand that should be enable you to defeat Shadar without my aid, Oliver. Mornstar was one or Mornstar once belonged to the Wizard King. It is said to have the power to overcome any enchantment. That must surely include the Black Briar that protects Shadar. Unfortunately, however, the wand you have in your possession is not complete. Eh, not complete? What are you on about? Mornstar's true power is beyond most wizards' comprehension. It is so powerful indeed that the ancient king who, cr who created it 
decide that its powers should be divided between three magical stones. This sounds like any GRP JRPG. I said GRPG. Oh, uh, that that's like a sign I've been recording too much. Oh, uh, that sounds like a JRPG. I have to go find the magical stones to make my my um my wand more powerful so I can face off with Shadar. Oh man, you could not get any more JRPG ish. JRPG ish. These three stones were then sealed away, far from the wand itself. So we need to go find them, right? Yes, but I have an apology to make in that regard. Huh? Wh why? What have you done? A map detailing the locations of the three stones was once in my possession. I am afraid, however, that it has been stolen. So we have to find the map, and then we have to find the stones. Okay. Stolen? While I was brokenhearted, I must confess that I became rather neglectful of the places or the palace's treasures. Books and maps would often disappear. To my shame, I actually observed several such thefts and did nothing. That sounds about right. I found it hard to care about anything much when I was brokenhearted. Well, this is a bit flippin' run. If the thief who pinched the map uses it to get hold of the stones, what do you think he's gonna do with them? I do not know. What I do know, however, is the identity of the thief. His name is Kublai. Kublai. He styles himself King of the Sky Pirates. Kublai? Of all people to tangle with. Should have known you two would be thick as erm. Anyway, I don't suppose you know where he is, do you? That's the thing with the Sky Pirates. You never know where they are. They're always moving from hideout to hideout on these giant airships. Be that as it may, locating Kublai is still the easiest way for you to recover the three magical stones. He's very unlikely to co cooperate peacefully, however. I better teach you some new spells, Oliver. Hell yeah! Give me some new spells! Give me all the spells! I need them! All the spells! I got Ward and Fuse. Oh, I got Fuse. That's cool. Insight. That's not all the spells, but it's at least something. You will almost certainly be doing a lot of traveling on your search for Kublai. Therefore, let me grant you one last spell. Travel. Yes! Yes! Thank you! Oh my god, thank you! I'm gonna love this spell, I'm guessing. I'm guessing travel lets you travel to any city, which would be great. Thank you, Marcuson. You are my savior. Yes! Yes, Marcuson. Yes! Thank you, Marcuson. I'm just gonna give you a clap. There's a clap for you. You have just become my favorite sage. Holy fuck! So we get to transport to any location you have already visited. While I'm unable to accompany you on your travels, I can at least make them pass more comfortably. Thank you! That's great, and it means we can come and see you anytime we like, Marcuson. Heh, <laughs> indeed. Be sure to use it to return to some of the air places you have visited on your journey and find out what has changed. If you visit the Temple of Trials, for example, you will now be able to take part in the Solaceum, Solaceum series, organized by my old teacher, Solomon. Oh, wow! I'd almost completely forgot about, the Sol uh, about Solomon and the Temple of Trials. Our first priority, though, is to find Kublai, King of the Sky Pirates. Come on, Oliver. The next chapter of our adventure starts here. Sure does. Let's go. Dude, we got the travel spell, man. Forget like anything I said about like getting bad spells here. About him giving us bad spells, that just made up for everything. You know what? We're gonna travel to We're gonna travel to Hamlin. Maybe it'll bring us to the to the front of town and I can just like walk into the inn and stuff. Yeah, cool. Thanks. That saves me a walk. That's awesome. That's like really cool. I'm so glad I got that. And everyone doesn't have to wear their uh, helmets anymore. Cool, look at that guy. Not wearing a helmet. Oh, he has a... Oh man, we got a lot of stuff. Should probably end it off here then, but... Uh, we got a lot of stuff to do, but first I want to, um, 
go ahead and grab... I want to head to Swift Solutions. I don't want to buy these things off screen because I want you guys to know about it. I want you guys to know about it. And if I buy them off screen, I know I'll forget about them. So... I'm going to go ahead and claim merit rewards. I have five, um... I have five cards, so I'm going to go ahead and buy, um... This one. Gain more experience through taking part in a battle. Which sounds pretty cool. And I can almost afford another one. I think the next one I'm going to buy is, um, Cheap Jack. Because it lets you buy items at a lower price. Which is awesome. Um... Yeah, the, like, these, these later ones are really cool, so... But I definitely want that experience one. And buying buying things at a lower price is probably going to be really useful, so I, I'm going to do that. <clears throat> so we... Wow, that was this has been a great recording session. Like, I love the area we went to. I love... I love that sage. There, that was like, there were like two references to Porco Rosso. Or, I really don't... I've never really seen that movie, to be honest. I need to watch that movie. But, um... There was that reference, and then... He, like, the prince himself is pretty much a Howl's Moving Castle reference. But, um... For now, I guess I gotta look for a hideout. Of Kublai the Sky Pirates. Can I, like, can I, like, check the world map through... I don't think I can check the world map unless I'm on my boat. Which kind of sucks. But oh well. Let's go ahead and take a nap. And I think that I think that has been the session. I think I'm gonna stop here. <clears throat> I'm sorry that if I've been I just wanna apologize if I've been like really bad with all the reading. Why did I spend the night? I was fully healed. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry if my voice was going out from all that reading. And it wasn't sounding that great. I'll just I'll just save outside. I don't know. I just I just wasted money doing that. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. What's that? What's this? What's this doing here? You just travel anywhere? Like why would you put that there? That's really random. Okay. I guess it just helps you get around faster. But um. Anyway. Yeah, I'm really sorry if my voice was, like, going out at that point. It was a lot of talking. Anyway, with this amazing view, I'm going to say... Um, off screen, I'm going to be going and doing some of the quests and stuff. And next time on Let's Play, Nino Kuni will be heading out to find Kublai, King of the Sky Pirates. So I'll see you guys then.